Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of gold and silver. I'll give you my financial opinion. And here we go. So this is the DXY, this is the US dollar currency index. Uh, we were down quite a bit today, 0.81%. The question now is, I'm gonna back out here. <laughs> of course, I've got all these uh, drawings. Let me uh, take this off real quick, guys. So we've got all these drawings here. We've got this white line up there. Is this a freak breakout where we head lower? Uh, it very well could be. We could be heading to a spot where we might uh, head lower and, and start heading lower with the dollar. Uh, again, I don't have the crystal ball. I'm not saying that it's for surely in the bag. But uh, this, to me, looks like a pattern that, that sat there, couldn't move higher. We have one throw over, and then maybe we could head lower. Possibility, we'll have to watch it and see what's going on. Why is that important? Uh, because money flows differently when you have a weak dollar versus a strong dollar. Uh, strong dollars, um, people prefer to invest in stronger currencies and the assets of those currencies. If this were to rotate and go down, uh, people would not prefer the US stock market. They'd start to look at other, other assets, like emerging markets, Brazil, uh, like commodities and precious metals. Uh, the 10-year the yield continuing to remain robust here, 3.16 up. We'll see if we break uh, to the upside. Again, we could also head lower. The short, short term here, it could go either direction, but we're up against this uh, resistance line. That's where we're at. Looking at um, commodities, the commodity markets have done pretty dang well. We've got a little bloody nose. Uh, we could see this break higher here. We very well could. So commodities are looking good. Uh, gold just moving sideways today. We have that nice hammer candlestick yesterday. We'll see if the buyers step in here tomorrow. Uh, silver right at resistance uh, line. We'll see if we can break through it tomorrow. Uh, platinum's up a little bit today. A little wick at the top. Looks okay. XAU to gold ratio bouncing off its support level. Uh, we, we might bounce around here a little bit. Going sideways, if that is the case, we could get back down here for another buying opportunity. Another buying opportunity if it if it pulls back. Corolla Resources bouncing off support, so we're right on that support level. The support level held with a bullish piercing pattern that usually resolves itself upward. Uh, we've got EXK. EXK is within the pattern, still looking okay. Uh, FSM moving up, bouncing off that support line right there and heading on higher. Will it continue? We'll find out. Again, all I can say is the support levels is usually where I buy. Uh, SILJ, SILJ right off support. It's right in the support level area. Looking looking good. Uh, GDX, again, right off the support, taking a little bounce. We might bounce a little bit back and forth before heading up. Uh, we've got Metallic Minerals. This is a small silver company. Uh, this one does look like we might need a little, little more bounce in here before uh, finding a bottom. Uh, Koya Resources, another one that's got a nice, good bullish piercing pattern. We'll see if this heads higher. It looks like we've got a little bit of, of a contraction there, too. Uh, so we'll see if that breaks. Discovery Silver up today. That's right off the bounce. I like it. It looks good. We've got AG moving sideways. Again, doesn't look too bad. We've got support underneath it a little ways below it. So we'll see if this if this can head higher or it may you know roll over and do a little bit of sideways action. Uh, Newmont right below the support level. We've got support, support underneath it multiple times. We'll see if that holds. Mag Silver, uh, nice good bounce here with this bullish engulfing. We'll see if the buyers come in, bust it higher. The amount of gold going sideways today. If we were to do a FIB retracement on it, it's right at the 0.618 area if you wanted to know. Uh, sometimes it bounces off those areas. We've got Impact Silver getting a little bit of uh, buying pressure today. Aftermath Silver, the two small down days. This does look like the sellers are exhausting themselves a little. Again, we'll see what the overall markets do. <laughs> and, and we'll see what this looks like here. Um, next trading session but uh this is usually 
usually you get a big candlestick that's an up day and then you get these two little small down days that usually means you had higher look what we have here a big candlestick and two small down days usually that means it's a continuation pattern to the upside uh, arcana silver moving lower uh, plg moving up today looking good Sibinyai still water bouncing off support looking pretty good uh, sandstorm gold another one that's bouncing off support heading higher we're going to come up to this resistance line see if we can break through it uh, franco nevada bouncing off support looking okay support lines holding at the moment uh, emx looking good that's a bullish engulfing here it usually resolves itself to the upside uh, so that one's looking looking solid uh, Tutan resources getting a little bit of buy-in pressure we've got wheat and precious metals getting some buying pressure coming right up to the resistance line Gold royalty getting some buy-in pressure with a little bit of a sell-off at the end of the day. Momentum's heading a little bit lower in it. Uh, Metalla Metal royalty just moving sideways. Mavericks metals moving sideways. Bearish engulfing might go down in the short term. Uh, Royal gold just heading down. I don't see any reversal patterns there yet. Well, Cisco gold royalty right on support. We'll see if that support holds. And then Altius renewables looking good. Moving higher. Looks good to move on higher. Uh, it's one that looks pretty good. Uh, so that's what I've got for today. Uh, overall, guys, we'll see if the buyers step in here for, for the precious metals. Um, kind of a mixed bag. Uh, I think we're going to probably move sideways for a little bit in some of the companies, uh, kind of in a chopping pattern, base out, and then kind of move higher uh, after we base. Uh, and, and the reason is we still have a lot of momentum heading lower. Uh, again, watch the overall markets as well. The overall markets dive bomb. I don't know how how well you know the whole market in general will hold up all these other commodities. They might get dragged down a little bit with it uh, for a period of selling off. Uh, I call this the transition period. The 2001 transition period uh, is where I think we're at now. It's similar to 2001, where things start to roll over. They start to sell off. Some some push and pull and drag on our commodity investments, and all you have to do is ride through it. Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, I think that we're in all the right sectors because of the inflation and the increasing interest rate environment. Uh, eventually, the money will rotate over. Uh, people just haven't figured that out yet. Uh, we're just ahead of them. And the timing is slow. It's it's really slow. So you have, you have time to accumulate. You have time to buy these assets uh, and and get them when they're cheap and just hold on. Don't worry about the, the, the daily fluctuations. If you get a cheap price and you've got money, I mean, I've just been accumulating accumulating over time and eventually this will all work its way up when the when the markets calm down when the interest rates aren't going ballistic to the upside uh, and we may we may have to ride through some more uh interest rate hikes it's just the way the name of the, the game is and that's what the market conditions have uh, the money will rotate over though just give it give it time if you guys like the analysis give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel subscribe to my website platinum membership will get you information about all of these companies uh, and what which ones I would be looking at and buying. Uh, I do uh, updates on Sundays before the week, and I do updates midweek and Wednesdays on the companies that I like, the companies that I think uh, would be ones that I would be buying at that time. All right, guys, that's all I've got. Uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.